So I think I made something really cool here and I want you to tell me if I'm right or wrong. I did spend like 8 to 10 hours on this prototype and it feels kind of sick, but I may be just, you know, delusional. <laughs> Because when you're just making something, you feel like super proud of it and it feels super nice. Just like, you know, when kids draw in a picture, it's just doodles basically. But the kids themselves are extremely proud. So I may be in that state at the moment. That's why I want to show it to you. And also I just want you to see what eight hours of development can look like. I want to tell you the challenges I had and I want to show you the sick mechanics I made. Because some of the things here... Uh, like feels it feels really nice. So the prototype itself is just uh, my attempt to make a simulator game. Wait, actually, let me give you a backstory. I'm sorry, I'm gonna show it to you, I promise. So this idea is actually not mine. Uh, my friend is really into simulator games, you know, like those uh, car wash simulator and supermarket simulator and farming simulator and so on. And personally me, I never got the idea of those games because, well, when I just see screenshots on the Steam pages, it always feels like a cheap production, almost like nobody even tried to make something good. Uh, first of all, I want to say I was wrong. Even by just making a prototype with a couple of simple mechanics, I got the idea that, well, it's not that easy actually to make. There is lots of things needs to be done. And second of all, while I was testing the mechanics I'm making, I actually got the feeling of it. Like, I think I know why do people love them. I'm not sure though, but I have a feeling I know why. So this is the prototype. And the whole idea is to be a coin maker simulator, right? I mean, you need to be a coin maker. Uh, if your first thought was, well, this is stupid. Yes, it is. I mean, have you seen those simulators on the Steam? Like we were bouncing ideas off each other, uh, discussing what it could be. And we were just throwing ideas like this simulator or this simulator. And every time I say something, we go to Steam store and open Steam page. And you can actually see how these simulators are already made. I mean, I said like, let's do delivery simulator. Then he said like, well, it's not really a good idea. Then we went to Steam page and there is delivery simulator. So there are all sorts of stuff. Basically, it means that any idea can work if you do it right and if it's fun. Anyway, the whole idea here is that uh, the king is going to lock you in a dungeon and force you to work and make coins for the king. That's the idea so far. And we made like each step for making a coin. Basically, it's all realistic and stuff. And that's what I'm going to show you. Uh, I want to show you how it works. And also I want to tell you how did I make it and what challenges I had. All right, let's begin. So first of all, you have this furnace where you need to place the metal uh, over here. I'm trying to show you with a finger, you know, you place metal here. I feel like you're sitting next to me. Anyway, you need to take the metal bar. And by the way, I did make this possibility to throw items and pick up them. I feel super proud about it. And also you can see the outline around the item. The outline itself, I downloaded from Asset Store. I only had to do minor changes so it works with my system. But other than that, it's mostly from Asset Store. If you need it, let me know. I will attach link in the description. So you place the item there and then you can try to press the button over here. If it is highlighted in red, Sorry, I'm colorblind. So if it's highlighted in a way that tells you you cannot interact with a button, even if you press it, nothing is going to happen. But if you place a, a wooden log into the furnace over here, and of course we're going to make like instructions for the player. This is just a prototype. We all understand that, right? It's work in progress. So once you've got right amount of materials, like uh, fuel as a wooden log and metal bar over here, you can actually press the button. And when you do that, the metal is going to melt. And yes, I did make metal melt in Unity. It's not super realistic, but in this kind of games, it's not supposed to be like extremely realistic. Just the idea of it should be understandable. Yeah, so this is how it works. I press the button, metal melts. And then you can have um, melted metal over there, which you need to take with your bare hands. <laughs> And then you need to chill it out. So you can go to the water over here and leave it there and it's going to cool it off. That's the idea. Now, uh, before I go further, I want to tell you how I did make the metal. Really quick one, okay? I'm not going to do any tutorial here. Well, unless you want to. Uh, the idea is I made a shader and then I made a material that I place on the item. And over here, I can decide the Y point below which object will not be shown to the player. That's the idea. And I simply apply this material to golden bar when I press the button. Because of that, it looks like it's melting. And at the same time, let me pause the game. I take prepared mesh in this uh, tray 
and I just increase the scale with the help of coroutine over here on all three axes. Because of that, it looks like it's a liquid metal that is just, you know, filling up the tray. Yeah. Cool, right? Tell me about it. Okay, sorry, let's continue. So you melt in the metal, uh, the wood supposed to disappear or burn, I don't know yet, let's see. Then you take metal, yes, with your bare hands and bring it to the water to cool it off. You just drop it like so and it's gonna cool it. And the way I did the cooling effect is I just took the emission and I reduced it to the zero, again with the help of a coroutine. Who could have thought, right? And then when it's ready, you will see it because it's not shiny anymore. And you can just take it into your hands and bring it over here to the pressing machine like that. Uh, this is supposed to be over here. So I'm going to move it here real quick. Give me a second. Right. I like that in this kind of games, you can basically interact with anything. You can just take stuff and throw them around. Even that feels fun. Just today I got one of these games to try it and see how input actually works. So I played like for 40 minutes to see how you should press the button and you know, all like controls basically. And it was so fun to do. So I just decided to make the same. You can just throw stuff around. Anyway, back to coin making, right? So you come here and this is my favorite part. You have this machine and you have like a golden plate over there that you got from the melting metal. And you can press this lever over here and it's gonna do the coin and it just like flies out over here as you can see and you can press them real quick to do this <laughs> i feel like it's so fun to do so i guess that's why like i got the idea why people like it it's kind of satisfying because you don't need to think too much on how to do stuff you just you know relax chill out and do it and by the way, this machine works in a very simple way. I just, again, believe me or not, I used coroutines to move this part over here. Wait, I can draw. To move this part over here down, this one rotates on the Y. And then when this part is below over here, I just call function on, the, on this coin set. And I make a prefab over here and I give it a bit of a velocity. That's the whole idea. All right, so then you can take this one and put it away as a leftover so you can use it later, maybe melt it and make more coins and drop it here. Collision didn't work for some reason. Well, we'll take care of that. Lots of things here are not working properly. It's okay, just ignore it. And then you can pick up the coins. I spent like maybe one hour or so to make them stackable, but it works now. You can just uh, click them all. And I originally thought you need to handle coins one by one because that was my imagination. Like in these simulator games, everything should be done manually every step. But then I played this cash cleaner simulator where you have like lots of money to manage and you can basically click them all and collect coins into one pack. I mean, you're collecting notes in that game, but here you're collecting coins, right? So I've got the coins and then I can drop them off on the tray over here here. Once I did that, uh, maybe I should arrange them. This is the part we need to talk about with my friend because I don't know how it's supposed to be. Like it feels weird when you just drop them off. If you have any ideas, by the way, let me know. Overall, if you have any ideas for this game, you tell me for sure because I'm going to listen to everything. Then you take this stamp and So you take this stamp and you need to print the king's face on the coins and you do it like so. And I really love this part as well. Wait, something doesn't work. Let me let me redo it. Something wrong with this tray. I'm not sure. I'm going to just switch it off. That is also a solution sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to drop coins over here. And then I need a stamp to put the king's face on the coin. Uh, it's over here. I can take it in my hand. Go to the coin. And this is really a fun part. This is why I wanted to make a video. I love the effect I got here with a stamp. Even though it was very simple to make. Check this out. So cool, right? This feels so satisfying for some reason. I, I cannot just explain it really. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels good to do it, even though it's such simple action. If you have any idea why it feels so good, you let me know, guys. So you stamp coins like that, and then you need to collect them into the box. I have the box over here. And in this kind of games, usually you need to complete some sort of orders. Like the one I played, the cash cleaner simulator, you need to pack money into the box and send them away. So I'm assuming this one is going to be similar to that. You can collect coins again with a stamp, place them in the box. Then you can take the box with all coins, right? Oh my, 
This is a prototype, all right? <laughs> Stop, yeah. And you go and deliver the coins to the king somewhere. This is what I've got so far. And I hope you did like it. Uh, we're going to discuss tonight with my friend what we're going to do with it, how we're going to move further. But I really want you to tell me what do you think about it, just if you don't mind. Like, you can be totally honest. Uh, you can tell us if we are onto something here or if this idea is totally stupid and it's not worth to go further with it. If you have any ideas for game mechanics, you share them as well and maybe we can implement them into the game. And overall, just give me your opinion. Don't be shy on this, all right? I really appreciate any information I can get. I want to say thanks to all my students and Patreons and give special thanks to Gianni Maroni and Bardent. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible.